Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. Here we're looking at how to type trigonometric functions in Word. So let's start by inserting an equation. So insert new equation. And then one possible way is to use this. So let's say we want to have tan of an angle A. So the good thing about this, you can see that the tan is not in italics, which is what we want. But we do want the variable to be in italics. So let's just use the left arrow button, or you could use the mouse to, uh, to highlight where the angle is going to go. And then if we have the angle A, you can see that's automatically in italics. Um, there's another way of doing this if you want to actually uh, use the keyboard and I'll show you how to do this by bringing up an on-screen keyboard. So I will show you step by step. So first of all we'll start with insert equation and now I'm simply going to type on this on-screen keyboard to show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to start off with T and you immediately see that it's put this into italics as though I've got a variable and even if I continue with the A and the N the same thing happens. But next I'm going to key the space bar and you can see now everything is fine. So it's the important thing there is to key in the space bar and then if we want a capital A shift A and we've got as before tan A. You might also want some um, to raise a trig function to a power. So let's have a look at how we can do that. So if we go back to this menu again, we haven't got any powers here, but we could kind of cheat. And if we go back, can you see, we should be able to edit that. So let's just delete and now put in a little two. And let's have tan squared A. So that's one way of doing it. And then if you want to do the same sort of thing with the, um, the keyboard, I'll show you how that would work. So we would start off with T A N. And now shift and we want this little carrot and then I want a power of two don't I so let's have a two and now I'm going to key in space and shift a 